Good morning. My name is Larry Parker with Mole Richardson Company, and today I would like to talk about my favorite light, which is the 450 Carbon Arc, Root Art. Uh, it was built and designed by my granddad in 1947. Um, a little bit about the Brute Arc. The main reason for the Arc was for, as a daylight booster outdoors to combat the strong sun and the shadows, and also to use them on interiors, on large interiors, where you need a lot of light output because of the fact the film was so slow in those days. So what we're going to do here right now is kind of go through each step, how to hook it up, how we strike it, talk about the carbons, the running time, and all that. Okay, so right now we want to go ahead and talk to you about the generator first of all. The generator is a thousand amp generator. It's going to give us DC power. So we need 120 volts of DC power coming in through the cables to what we call a grid. Now the grid has several uh, different uh, resistors inside to knock the voltage from 120 volts. It goes through. First of all, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hook this up. As you go through here, it knocks it from 120 volts down to about 73 volts so the carbon doesn't explode. It can operate correctly. So let's go over here and hook up the other side now. We have 70 volts, 73 volts coming up here through the cable, which is 2 watt cable. Okay, so now we're back to the light here, and we're going to go ahead and open up the door and show you the inside of this unit. As you can see, it has a positive carbon. It's about 22 inches long. Uh, that's the one that's horizontally coming straight out here. Then we have what we have down below is the negative carbon. Two carbons coming together, just like you see here on the diagram. They strike, produce a flame, and all you have to do as an operator is keep it adjusted. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the back of the unit. Up in the top here, we have a positive, uh, this is the feed, this is the positive feed. It takes the carbon forward and back for the adjustment. Down here, we have the negative feed. That takes care of the carbon coming up and down. There, like I say again, everything's operated off the motor. Sometimes it doesn't speed up as fast as you want, you have to crank it. <clears throat> also, you have a little variac right here, and the carbon's feeding too fast, too slow, you can vary the speed of the motor that operates the positive going in and out. Over here to the left, we have a, a little red light here type thing. That's called a polarity light. If the carbon, if the, uh, I should not the carbon, but if the uh, cable is hooked up wrong, positive, negative, it will come on and say, you gotta flip it over, get the right polarity. Here is your spot and flood. Here's the important thing is how this is how we strike it. Strike it down, bring it up there, boom. And of course the real important thing is the switch. You got to turn it on first. So you got the switch, the striker, the focusing uh, lever here. You got the, also you have the polarity light and then we have the positive negative adjustment and we have the variac. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing going so you can see what it looks like. Oh man, I didn't check the polarity. See that red light? That means we have to go ahead and change the polarity around. All right, so what we gotta do, I'm gonna go over here to the grid. It's a lot easier. Okay, now we're okay. Beautiful. We're gonna do something different. We're going to show you what it looks like with the door open. You should never do this. Never, ever. But we're going to do it today. So I'm going to turn the switch on. And we're going to go ahead and strike this guy right now. Beautiful strike. I hope you got that. I can't look at it. But uh, it sounds real good. So that's how it burns inside there. That's the flame. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this door. Now it's safe to look at it and I'll look at it and see what I did inside. Okay, we just turned the unit off. I'm going to go ahead and check my carbons. A good operator will always check his carbons to make sure they will touch when you strike it again. So we're going to align it. I'm going to come up here. I'm not going to strike it. The unit's not on. I bring it up here. Everything is aligned. Now I can go ahead and have my, have my coffee right now and relax. But we're going to turn this on right now. So we're going to take our switch on. 
We're going to take the striker and we're going to come over here and see if our adjustment, I am adjusting the negative down, I'm bringing the positive out, and that is beautiful. I'll check my speed here, and it's just like a good cook, man, we got it going for you. So, it's a beautiful unit. Let me step out in front now and show you what kind of light it puts out. You can take all your HMIs and throw them away. This is the only light, pinpoint source, beautiful skin tones, crisp, beautiful light. And we got a little smoke, a little atmosphere going with it too right now. Okay, so now we've seen this thing on, so let's go ahead and turn it off and show you what it looks like when it's real hot here. We're gonna turn the switch off, flip the door open, and look how hot that thing is inside. See if you can get a nice close up that carbon and all that. Those things will stay red hot for about five minutes or so. Let me, let me give you a little story here. When you get a new operator in the old days on these things, you see that positive carbon up there? The guys used to go ahead and paint, uh, get a piece of a wooden dowel and they paint it black and make it look like a carbon and then the guy grabs it, puts it in there during a scene trying to strike his arc and never strikes because it's wood. So he catches a little bit of problems there from the gaffer. The other thing they used to do is take a whole bag of popcorn and dump it in the carbon arc on a new operator. So, of course, they let everybody know they're doing this, and after they heat it up, there's nothing but noise in the side. He opens up and there's popcorn going everywhere. So, boys will be boys. You know, they'll have fun. But I'll tell you what, this is one of the best lights around. I love the carbon arc. Uh, I'm just sorry that it's not being used as much as they, they should be, but uh, it was a great three decades with this, and my granddad did a super job building and designing these. So, uh, thank you very much for watching us today. You take care, and we'll see you on the next program. Bye-bye.